Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video for the new Boston. We are dealing with functions with return values in this video. If you haven't already watched the other two videos on functions, do so. Now what we're doing is we are asking the question, what do we want to do if we want to say do a function inside a function? We don't want to necessarily echo the contents of a function out. And for this we use something called a return um, return value. We return a specific value or the value that's calculated within a function. This can be a string value, this can be an integer, it can be anything, any 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 variable that we can return. Now, the idea of the program I'm going to be, the small program I'm going to create in this, is we want to um, create a function that divides two numbers, but we also want to create a function that adds two numbers. And then what we want to do is we want to create a sum similar to this. So we want to add 10 and 10 together for example and 5 and 5 together and the result of this operation would be 10 add 10 which is 20 divided by 5 add 5 which is 10 so the answer would be 2 20 divided by 10 is 2 so this is what we want to do however if we're creating our function here called add and we are taking two um, numbers so number 1 number two and we're echoing out number one plus number two what we're doing is we're outputting this result to the browser we're not storing it as a variable we're, we're just simply outputting it now we could say create something like result equals and then we could say echo result however we're not changing any we're not really changing how the code works all we're doing is is making it longer for ourselves so what we really want to do is we want to be storing a result but then instead of echoing it we want to be returning the result now you don't always have to return or even echo or anything in a function a function can purely work in itself and not display any output it doesn't need to display output however we're returning the result of this now look what happens when I go to add two numbers together we add 10 and 10 we're putting a parameter we're putting an argument in here which is 10 that's equal to number 1 and then 10 which is equal to number 2 here so the result is going to be basically 10 in this case add 10 and we're returning the result which will be 20 so I've called this now what's going to happen absolutely nothing and the reason for this is this now is equal to 20 but we're not doing anything with it we're, we're calling the function and we're supplying it with arguments but we're not doing anything with it so in fact what we can now do is echo out the function in itself and what this is going to do is it basically means we can either use this as a variable on its own or we can echo it out to display it to the user so this will now echo out 20 to the screen and what this means is that I could say add 10 10 plus 100 and echo that out so what we're doing is we're including this function the called function inside another mathematical sum so now let's refresh and we should get the result 120 which we do so you can see now that instead of echoing a value we're returning a value therefore we've got so much more freedom now to use this as a variable in itself. So um, the example I uh, showed was we had uh, an operation here which was 10 add 10, it should really be displayed like this, 10 add 10 and 5 add 5 and the result of this is going to be 2. So how are we going to do this? We need a function to add which we've already got, we've got a function to add um, up here which we can use for this and we can use for this, we don't need two different functions, we can add 10 and add 5, um, add 10 and 10, add 5, add 5 and it will produce the same result with the same function. But now we need a function to divide. So we create a function to divide, exactly the same way as we've done. We supply a number in here, so number 1, number 2. Now these um, values here these variables here are superficial they're not actually declared variables they're just telling you what well they are but they're just telling you what we need to read in so you can name them the same name we've called number one and number two here and we've called it number one and number two here so 
we can do exactly the same thing result oh, result equals number one divided by number two and then we return the result okay so now let's run this program to make sure we don't have any errors which I don't think we will do no now we need to take um, the original sum that I wanted to achieve and we need to put it into practice with just these two functions and it's simple we need to create a variable called result or you can call it anything you like um, and we in fact let's call it sum and that is equal to divide okay we need 10 oh, well, we need a value here and a value here so what we can now do is add something inside this function so we're adding 10 and 10 and we're adding 5 and 5 but we're dividing 20 now by 10 so we've declared or we've called a function within a function instead of echoing it returning values so now down here we can simply echo sum. So if you look carefully at the logic of this, you'll understand of how this can be done. So now let's refresh, and we've got our result of two, which we required from the start. So this is basically how to return a value in a function, and you can see how useful it is. Instead of just echoing something out or just performing an operation, we're actually returning something for the user, uh, or for us to use um, as the variable as a whole rather than just a function to echo out the result of what we've done inside the function.